Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. It's Monster Jam time here at the Alamo Dome. And you're watching SA Live. Get ready to rev up your engines this weekend with high flying action packed monster trucks. Yes, Monster Jam is at the Alamo Dome. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. <laughs> and I could not hear myself. I, I, Ted was shooting that and he just kind of went, say something. And just started talking. It was so loud. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and yes, a lot of events going on this weekend, including, as you saw, Monster Jam. Really cool. Now, of course, you went out there yep. this morning. It's happening this weekend. What did you get to do? Uh, you'll have to see. We're well, talking with one of the ladies who's one of the drivers out there. There's a couple of them out there. Look at all those trucks. Those just being that close to them. And I got to start one, too. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> Well, here we are in the Alamo Dome, and they picked up all the turf from the recent football games and laid down a whole bunch of dirt because it is Monster Jam time, and we are here with one of the racers, Brianna Mahan, and how'd you get in there? I mean, you're standing next to the tire, and this thing is bigger than you. What is it like driving this? It is absolutely amazing. There's really no other... There's no words to describe how incredible this Monster Jam truck is. You know, you're out there with 1,500 horsepower under your seat, wrecking, rolling over, launching off cars. It's it's like nothing else I've ever experienced. So is there an actual, for somebody that's never been here before, describe what happens. Is it a track that you go on? You just drive and try and knock the other guy over? What happens? So we have three elements. We have a racing bracket. We all compete for a winner in that. Then we have a two-wheel skills competition, which is anything on two wheels goes. You want to do a nose wheelie, you want to do a sky wheelie or bicycle on two wheels. And then we go to our freestyle competition where anything goes. You're going to see carnage, you're going to see backflips, you're going to see bodies flying off. It, it's That's the best part. How do you learn how to drive one of these things? Slowly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we actually have Monster Jam University, and that is where we go to learn how to handle these big beasts. We go to learn how to drive, how to speak on camera, how to interact with our fans better, and it, it's truly a University of Motorsports. <laughs> well, I was going to say, this thing, like the easy part compared to, to this thing. Definitely. Compared to a regular pickup truck, what's it like? Um, you know, I drive a big lifted truck back home, so I've kind of always been in trucks. But, um, you know, this, these monsters, we have front steering and rear steering. So we don't just have a steering wheel, we have a toggle switch, and we're turning all four wheels at one time, whether we want to go right or left or turn them opposite and kind of walk diagonally. So you just have to continually think about three steps ahead of what you're going to be doing next and how you're going to do it and how yes. you're going to get here. What happens if it rolls over? How do you, I mean, how do you, you get it right? You get out and wave. Or you just put your foot to the floor and hope it turns back upright. <laughs> It's like getting snuck in snow, yes. just jamming. Yep. So, all right, this is uh, a little unusual for women to be in this sport now, right? Because it was dominated by men yes. for many, many years, right? Yes, you know, I come from male-dominated sports, and in no other sport out there can the women compete at the same level as the men. So to come out here on these tracks every single weekend, compete on the same dirt, the same competitions, and win championships over these men is absolutely phenomenal, and they support us 110%. But what would you compare it to? Organized chaos. <laughs> that is the best way to put it. It is unscripted. It's it, it's like nothing you will ever experience unless you're sitting in these seats. Well, I'll tell you what, getting in this thing, as big of a monster as it is, is, uh, boy, you wear it. There's no room to move in here. And uh, yeah, I get to start it up. This is gonna be fun. Ready, here goes. <laughs> Shut off by itself. <laughs> it did shut off by itself. And I thought, what did I do wrong? Do I need to get the gas or something like that? What's interesting is I finally just crawled out of that thing, which is <laughs> even more difficult than getting in. And there was a gentleman standing there, and he had a walkie-talkie. He had shut it off. 
all of the trucks. They didn't trust you. They are. <laughs> that's a whole different story. Um, probably not. They saw that wild look in your all, eye. <laughs> all the trucks are on a different frequency, three different frequencies, and right. so it's a whole safety measure. So if a truck flips over, they can sit there and they can. It's a kill switch right, right. for somebody else. So right. it's very, it's very fascinating. Yeah. Very, very. Tomorrow very night good. and Sunday at the uh, Alamo Dome. All right. Boy, those trucks are cool. So, well, get ready to rev up those taste buds now because speaking about really cool events happening this weekend, Taste the Dream Gala celebrates diversity through food, and it's happening, of course, as I mentioned, this weekend. Chef Kenny A. York is here to give a taste of what to expect. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Mike. Welcome and to the show. Okay, we want to get going, first of all, mm -hmm. because this looks so good. And one of the dishes you are going to be making, we're kind of smoking here, but yeah. this is shrimp, but boy, the whole title of the, we're the name going, of it. Yes, we're actually going to bring you a, a true taste of uh, San Antonio uh, black garlic, which is actually fermented right here in San Antonio. So as a culinary chef, one of the things that we're going to do is highlight our local products. What we're going to do for you today is a black garlic um, smoked paprika wrapped in pancetta with a drizzle of smoked pecan maple syrup. And Mike, wow. I'm going to get you started I, here. I told you the name sounds great. Sauteing these guys up right and here. Those, and those won't take very long. All right. Oh, four, you must be hungry. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Keep all right. We're going to give it all to this you. This is what we do, chef. We all eat. right. Let's you not got it. Waste. And it's a quick preparation. What we're going to do is just take our local Gulf, uh, right here from New, uh, Gulf of Mexico, mm -hmm. a little smoked paprika. Okay. And you can actually purchase your black garlic at your local HEBs here. Regular garlic that's been fermented. That's been fermented here. Okay. Chef Steve Pepperocki. Uh, groomers and HEBs actually carry it. Mm -hmm. and, and that we will, brings out the sweeter side it, of the uh, garlic? It brings out a sweeter note of, of, the, the, of the garlic, okay. correct. And we're just going to do a quick marinade on there. You can either purchase a local uh, pancetta. Uh, HEB does it, or in Italian does it make, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Do a quick wrap, and, and Ken has, and then a quick saute there. And that's it. And the nice and thing about that's it. It takes it. like a one or two minutes yep. uh, when your it. shrimp becomes translucent, mm -hmm. and you'll be good in there. Basically, we're just about done, aren't yeah, we? You're just about done. Okay. Well, tell us about this this event tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Taste of the Dream, brought to you by Sage, which is for those that don't know, which is San Antonio Grove for the East Side. Uh, one of the things in conjunction uh, with a number of facilities here in San Antonio actually got the Gastomity Award um, for a culinary city this year. So in conjunction with that and Frost Bank and our local other supporters, what we do is guest uh, host local chefs uh, here in the area with a couple of master caterers. Uh, so it's a big to-do gala um, that'll be here, um, and it shows the diversity in the culinary scene of San Antonio. And San Antonio is on a fast pace to become a culinary destination. And helps, like you said, the local... The local economy, the local economy and the business, the small farmers, business, everything the goes farmers, farm to table right farm there. to table, the whole nine yards. I've actually got my start based on that same concept here. Great. And another little appetizer that we are making here. Oh, last thing, Mike. Got to yes. finish off the coup de table with oh. the shrimp. Oh, is hey. the smoked pecan. Vermont maple syrup. Oh, yeah. That's I what he showed us earlier, remember? That will be mm -hmm. there. Just because of the name of it, I think I'm in love. So. Okay. Yes. All righty. I we... think that's this right here, right? Uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it's that. I don't need that. <laughs> <Pretty honest. laughs> Would you like a four? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. So the okay. appetizer she's mm -hmm. making. Okay. And the other one, if you're ever at home and you want a quick appetizer to entertain your guests, uh, what we're going to do here, uh, want to do a quick squeeze? Sure, sure. What we have is a phyllo pastry cup. You can buy them at any local store. They're already pre-made. You're going to have to give them a nice little push. Okay. I didn't want to yeah, push You're too good hard. to go. Okay. You're good to go. All righty. Here we go. And you can just fill the other cup. By the way, this is a little slice of heaven. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, I my appreciate that. Goodness gracious. That is and good. what this is, is any Philadelphia sour cream, I'm um, going to say uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. you just a local spice. You can use fresh herbs, basil, a little thyme, a little oregano, whatever you want to do, a little fresh parsley, um, just to add that, season it up. And this is pepperoncinis. You can buy them at any local store. That'll that go on top of there. The and then we'll take a little smoked salmon to dress. So the event tomorrow night is sold out, but, and we were talking about Sage and how people can help out is just go to dinner, right? right. Yes, go to dinner. Okay. Um, truly go to dinner here uh, to Pearl, um, any of our local restaurants on the east side uh, and throughout San Antonio to help support our local 
uh, businesses. Because as culinary professionals, we are that bridge between our farmers and our local vendors to bring that to the citizens of San Antonio. All right. And you have your own catering company. Yes, uh, Leviticus Catering Company. All right. Mm. For more information on San Antonio for Growth uh, on the east side and how you can get involved, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's really tasty, too. It's a taste. Oh, yes, indeed. All right, still out on the show, Colorful Eats and Treats, David Elder takes you to zero degrees. Plus, new year, new hobby, the art of calligraphy, and how you can take a class. new hobby what about calligraphy and joining us right now sabrina stang owner of the golden spec to show us how good afternoon thank you for Hi. being here i always think of calligraphy because it is a perfect way to send a note because there's nothing more valuable yes. than a handwritten note and if you can do it with calligraphy that'd be yes the it's so personal cake, right? okay. yeah calligraphy is not penmanship right no Everyone it's, thinks you have to have good penmanship, but you don't. So those of us with chicken scratch could actually do this. You right? can do it, yes. Okay. And it, because it's a series of... Strokes. You don't write. You just do these strokes. You're drawing. Yeah, you're drawing some circles, some lines. And this is an interesting pen as well. Yes. So we're going to be doing pointed pen calligraphy. Mm -hmm. So this is our bleak holder. It's oblique because it gives us that slant line, so we get that nice slant look when we're writing. Okay, so instead of really cocking the paper, even though you do that... Yeah, you still have to do it for proper positioning. So what? what's the best way to get started with this? Well, we have our nib, mm -hmm. which has already been prepped and ready for us to use, and then you put it inside the oblique holder, and now we're going to dip it inside. And remember, we want to dip it all the way all the way past the, little past the hole, the vent hole. And let's just play with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you just tap it a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clean up. Just we're just going to play. We're just going to draw some lines. Sweet. Let's press one down. It goes thick down. Okay. Like that. So you can get familiar. How'd you get into calligraphy? I was getting married, and I wanted to add that special touch. Oh, really? You did all yes. the um, No. Oh. I did, like, the wedding decor. I did signs. Oh, oh. I went that route. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Did all that. <laughs> no, I didn't. 250 guests later, and she handled it. Right? <laughs> it's like, oh, let's limit. Let's put a limit okay. on that. So, so we just did some thick downstrokes, right? Okay, thick downstrokes. And then when you do upstrokes, so you're going to go. Thinner. Yeah, so when you go up, it has that lighter, it has that lighter texture. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you have classes for this as well, right? <laughs> yes, I take you step by step. We break down every letter. Whoops. Now, do I need more ink? Do I have to yes. Okay. You have to, to refill it every so often. Actually, pretty often. So, let me write my name. How do I start? Okay, so we're going to start with a loop here. A loop here. And down. And ascending. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I added a little curve to mine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So then we're going to start here from the bottom. Uh, from the bottom. And we're going to do an overturn. <laughs> Thick downstroke. And then okay. we might have to redip again. That's how often. And, up and, and so we'll do another one. So if I were to do my name and I want to finish and I come up, down, and then. Start from, yep. Mm -hmm. Up, down, up and down, and then finish finish like that right and so these at these are the <clears throat> techniques because everything has like a little tail on the end and the mm -hmm. we, we call them entrance strokes and edge strokes okay. to help connect the letters and this is all sounds like calligraphy 101 which is the class you're teaching right yes okay and it's coming <laughs> up uh on the 19th on the 19th yep mm -hmm. on saturday the 19th and it is from one o'clock till four o'clock how can folks uh, sign up um, Eventbrite. Um, I'm listed on Eventbrite and on my Facebook and Instagram as well. You can register there. Okay. It's at the Annex Co-working Space, which is over there at Dezavala, just west of I-10. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can find out where that is. And uh, workbook supplies and refreshments are all included. Mm -hmm. The price of admission. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah. And after that, you are just going to be getting your own quill pen and having a great time and writing thank you notes and everything like that. And if you'd like more information about tickets, you can go to salive.com and we have provided a link there. Sabrina, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me.
Still ahead on the show, a brother band duo brought together for their love of music. The Reed Brothers will perform a little bit later on in the show. Plus, vibrant and healthy eats from Tim the Girl, where you can catch her this weekend. Welcome back to SA Live. It is a fabulous Friday to cook fresh, get fit, and we're going to do the working out in a little bit. But first, we need to eat. And Tim the Girl Catering, Tim McDermott, is here to tell more about uh, good, really, really yummy food and also an event coming up tomorrow where they can meet you, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing the Healthy Happy Hour for Sweat SA, San Antonio Magazine's first event. I mean, this is the first one they're doing. Uh, at Luck and Terra Resort tomorrow. Okay. And what are you going to be making there? We're going to be sampling our soba noodle salad that you see right here. And that looks so healthy and... And pretty. And, and very pretty as well, <laughs> which is half the battle when you're eating, right? So how do we get started with this? So it starts with uh, buckwheat noodles, mm -hmm. which are gluten-free and made from buckwheat, which is an alternate to regular wheat. Okay. And these have been pre-cooked, but you can buy them at most grocery stores. Now, what's the, well, let me just go like this. What's the flavor? I mean, is it like a regular it's noodle? A, or it's does a it have little a more... nuttier and a little softer, right? So you see it has okay, the, it does have a little bit, you of have a, a bit of a spelt to ancient grain flavor, a bit nutty. The, yeah, there is kind of a little bit of a hmm to it. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So that goes in the salad or in the bowl, first of all, this right? This goes in the bowl and then okay. are the, is the, the knife cutting with the vegetables. So this is a watermelon radish. I don't know if you've seen one of these before. So inside, we have already peeled one for mm -hmm. you, but inside, once you peel away the layers, you get this beautiful rose color. Does it have the same flavor as a regular radish? It's, it, I mean, radishes are really dependent on time of year and whatnot. It's, okay. it's about the same, maybe a little bit less hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to, you see these nice, so you okay. want to peel the radish down and then you'll do nice thin slices like this. And can you get those just at the grocery store? You can. I mean, okay. Central Market at least. Right. Yeah. Okay. At depending time of year. And it really does depend. Sometimes you'll get one and you're like, whoa, that's a hot one. Mm -hmm. So you also have a catering business, right? I do. Called Tim the Girl. And we do full scale events, small private parties. Big parties? Big parties, <laughs> small parties. What do you specialize in? We specialize in farm to table, I'd say with a Mediterranean flair, mm -hmm. you know, fresh local ingredients. Okay. So the other so um, green and red cabbage. So the trick to, the to cutting the cabbage, we've cut it down for you. But when you're cutting from a whole one, you want to cut the end off and then slice them into quarters, so that then you can cut along this way. You want to get thin okay. slices along this grain, and that way as thin it, as you can, because that's how you get that very pretty cloud-like look when you're piling the cabbage on. Okay, and you're not. You kind of want to do it like you're almost going blind. That looks good. Interesting way to put it. I've never heard that before in cooking. <laughs> I so. tell all my chefs, I'm like, so when you're blind, you'll know you're doing it right. <laughs> and then the, the purple one as well. The purple one as well, which the purple and green do have slightly different flavors, but it's, again, a, lo a lot. I really do believe that food, you know, presentation and how something looks is, you know. So as we start to build the salad, we can just kind of put all these on here. As we start to build the salad, we're just going to put those in here. Okay. And back to the event tomorrow, which mm -hmm. is out there at La Cantera, uh, how many different chefs? Because there's the exercise first, and then there's the, yeah, you get, I think you get there, a treat there's afterwards. There's four different local, four to five different local chefs doing little healthy bites. So mm -hmm. La Cantera Resort will be doing healthy cocktails. Uh, there'll be juices there. There's a granola company coming, and then there'll be other little healthy bites. So that's from at, at the end of the event, so from 12.45 until 1. Okay. Before that are all the exercise classes that everyone can do. Throughout the day. And it's not really that. I mean, to get all of these different, uh, there's different activities. Smart Bar is coming up here in a second. I know my wife's uh, body architecture, they're going to be out there as well. And so, you know, all these different great exercises, right. all these different great chefs right. are going to be out there. And again, that is at La Cantera. Um, back to you very quickly. A new cafe? Good, yes. So good our, cafe? our current cafe is at the Pearl in the mm -hmm. bottling department. And we're opening a second location in Southtown. Oh, whereabouts? Where the Monterey used to be, it's on St. Mary's, mm -hmm. across from Ace Mart. Okay. Mm -hmm. When's that going to be opening up? Uh, early February. 
Ah, yeah, we're doing build out right now. Staying busy. So. Yeah. All right. The salad's all made here with the buckwheat noodles. And what dressing do I put on it? Okay. So this is, uh, so our, our concept at the restaurant, people get their bowl, market bowl, so we do a salad, and then they choose their dressing. We have two of them here today. One is a spicy carrot ginger. Ooh, that sounds good. And... And as you, as you dress the salad, I'm going to read over the uh, graphic right now. And for more information on Tim the Grill and these recipes, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead, as we were talking about a lot of great exercise coming up tomorrow. And Smart Bar is here with a workout that is going to make you sweat. All right, welcome back to SA Live. We'll get a good workout this weekend at the San Antonio at San Antonio Magazine Sweat SA event. And Rocky Schaefer, Master Trainer at Smart Bar, is here to give you a preview of what to expect. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Okay, for those that don't know, what is a Smart Bar workout? All right, so Smart Bar is a boutique women's fitness studio. We specialize in a method that combines yoga, ballet, and Pilates for the perfect full body, low impact workout. So. We're going to show you some of the moves that we do in our studio today and that you can also see at the event this weekend. All right. And All we've right. got a few ladies here to help yes. demonstrate. Yes. Yes. This is actually Marielle, who's one of our instructors, and Kristen, who's our owner. And they're going to show us some of the moves. So if you all want to grab your weights, um, you can just kind of see um, that they do really small movements. They isolate one muscle of the body. Um, we do lots of repetition, low weights to create a lean sculpted muscle versus bulky. Um, and so they'll move into kind of showing you some different variations here, working the shoulders. And then we'll come down and they can show you some leg movements to do. Okay. Yeah, if you guys want to grab a band. Everything at Smart Bar, our classes are all open level. So all different levels um, of fitness can come and take. So if you haven't been exercising your whole life, don't be afraid to come and try right. a class. Um, or if you have been exercising um, your whole life, you can still come. Everything's modifiable. We can also add resistance. Um, so you can see here, Marielle, who's expecting, is going to go lower resistance. And then Kristen's going to add this band um, to work the legs, add some resistance as they step out side to side, starting to work into the glutes here. We kind of move in section and sections in our classes um, to get that full body workout, starting with the warming up the core, warming up the body, moving through the arms, then the thighs, the glutes, and we end with our core again, and we always stretch it out. And like you just said, even expectant moms can do a smart body Yes, workout, right? absolutely. We have clients from the age of 18 to 82, um, pregnant, postpartum. It's all um, very modifiable and doable during all stages of pregnancy and after. And of course, you guys will be at San Antonio Magazine Sweat SA event we will this be. weekend. What can folks expect? Sure, we'll be teaching a 30-minute class um, on Saturday, tomorrow, on Saturday. And there'll be, um, I think, three other classes that everyone can take so you can kind of get a whole day of fitness and um, come out and see us and, and try it. The tickets are really inexpensive for a great day of fitness. And what type of classes do you do over at Smart Bar? So we have our kind of classic classes, our bar class. Um, we also offer a bounce class, which is done on a trampoline, um, which is so much fun. It's a great cardio workout. And then we also just introduced a class called Smart Burn that's going to be bar-centric, but it's adding in some more cardio activity to get that heart rate up. Okay, and folks can get a free class? Yes, so local residents can come try us for a free class. So don't be afraid, come give it a try. Um, our instructors are here to guide you through the process. It's a group class with personalized attention. We love giving you that individual attention in class. All right, and of course a new client special for an unlimited month? Yes, 100 bucks. Yep. All right, there we go. Yes. More information on San Antonio Magazine's Sweat SA event. Remember, it's happening tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at La Quintero Resort and Spa. For ticket information, just head to our website salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Thank ladies. you so much. Coming up, the soothing sounds of the Reed Brothers. Jen sits down with them to talk about their new album and a special performance, of course, right after the break.
They are a duo not only brought together by their love of music, you can catch the Reed Brothers in and around Texas. They're here today, Kyle and Keegan. Wait, who's older? Me. You are by how much? Five years. <laughs> Five years, okay. So you guys play together and wow, when I hear, I, I get goosebumps when I hear you guys playing. Um, who influenced you? Where did this love for music come in? Like you guys were how old and how did it start? Well, our, our dad always had loud music playing on Friday mornings in our house. I love that. And there was anything from Stu Ray Vaughan to Guy Clark to ZZ Top. I mean, it was just whatever he had on the stereo, we heard it. We didn't have a choice. So, so when did you decide, I'm going to pick up a guitar. I'm going to start, you know, doing more. Probably going out to Green Hall and uh, Cibolo Creek Country Club and seeing the live music there from a young age was like, really inspiring to me and made me want to do it and then my brother being older he started doing it before me and I saw him doing it and I was like now I really have to do it so and was it like your parents and your family like you guys sound good you know let's let's move forward with this um, or how did it my, it took a long time my mom told me one time she was like it took about you know 10 years for me to finally say you know what y'all are musicians that's what y'all do and Got we it. love you for it and we support you and and they just gave in. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you describe the music? Americana, kind of? Or? I would say Americana, but we, we really draw from all of our influences. We don't try to hide it. You know, blues, rock, country, everything that's out there, soul. We love it all. So is we just try to blend it all together. I love that. And is there something that you guys listen to that maybe people wouldn't think you listen to? A guilty pleasure, if you will? <laughs> um, I know you have one. <laughs> actually, a, a lot of Tejano. See, what? Oh, no. well, that's cool. Well, you're from San Antonio, so Absolutely. that's awesome. Well, you guys are playing at, and we talked about this earlier, but Sam's Burger Joint, mm -hmm. and that's a smaller venue, but you've played even in England, you said. So well, tell us about these smaller venues and what that means to you, that energy you get from that. Uh, the smaller venues, we get to be closer to the audience, which is, in my opinion, more fun because I get to draw from their energy and put it on stage with me and rock out even harder and put it all on the line in front of everybody. I love that. Well, you can catch them. You can be part of that energy if you go out to Sam's Burger Joint tomorrow. Uh, the show starts at 8 o'clock. Doors at 8. Doors at 8. So get there so you can get a nice spot to listen to them, and you will not be disappointed. I'm going to let you guys take it away. Thanks, guys. So 
Degrees is a California-based Asian-Hispanic fusion snack shop that is serving up sweet drinks and savory eats. Like their spicy mac and cheese, the Mac and Cheetos. Seasoned cream and macaroni get brought to a boil. Then, mozzarella and cheddar cheese get added to make the cheesy sauce. The macaroni and cheese then gets topped with, wait for it, crunched up extra flame and hot Cheeto. It then gets finished with chopped green onions and more shredded cheese. Oh man, that just looks great. Wow. <laughs> For being a place that serves really great drinks, you think their food would be, eh, it's okay. No, it is really good. Some of the best mac and cheese I've had here in San Antonio. Also on the menu, cheesy asada fries. Marinated beef gets seared in a pan. Then, made to order fries get covered in nacho cheese and topped with asada. Pico de gallo, cotija cheese, chopped green onions, cilantro and lime top it off. And if you want a lot of food, everything comes in large portions, but check this out. Their asada fries are massive because you want to pour your lime on top of your fries. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, this is insane. That is amazing. There are a ton of other dishes to choose from, like their garlic noodles with shrimp, popcorn chicken, and extra flaming hot Chiro Elotes with chicharrones. This is where it's at. And to wash it all down, Zero Degrees has some of the tastiest drinks in town. Their matcha milk tea and Thai milk tea make a great combo in the split cup. It just looks fun though, doesn't it? Have you ever had like Thai tea? This is like that on, on steroids. Zero Degrees also makes great mango nalas and spicy watermelon drinks, all fresh and made from scratch. All the flavors are so fresh and they just punch you in the face with flavor. If you love chocolate, their Cookie Monster Shake made with Oreos and a toasted marshmallow and chocolate horchata made with house-made horchata are the best bet. And my favorite drink on the menu, the Ube Milkshake with taro root and boba is a classic bubble tea flavor done right. Bam, it's all colorful. Looks like a rainbow happened in there. This is the Ube Milkshake. That one's really good. Zero Degrees has something for everyone, both sweet and savory, with two locations now open in San Antonio, one off Blanco and 410, and one off 1604 in Bulverde. So you guys gotta make sure you come out to Zero Degrees right here off Bulverde Road and off 410 and Blanco. They have great drinks, really great food. I mean, the Mac and Cheetos is amazing. The asada fries, though, that's what you need to get. And this crazy monster drink here, this cookies is good. Wanna check out all the other places I've been to? Now you can. Just go to eldereats.com or follow me online at Elder Eats on social media. Keep eating San Antonio for SA Live. I'm David Elder. And don't forget, Zero Degrees is opening up their second location on Bulverde Road. Their grand opening happening tomorrow and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. First 25 guests get a free 24-ounce drink. They also have a buy one, get one free deal for coffee and tea this weekend. For more information, you know what to do. Head to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And that mac and cheese looked really creamy and good. Mm. All right, speaking of coffee, hey, don't miss our entire coffee-themed show on Monday. We are just going to be bouncing off the woodwork of drinking all that coffee. David Alder features Zero Degrees Coffee Concoction. Plus, a new pick-me-up spot, just a short drive to New Toronto. Plus, our very own, the one, the only, Java Jen is going to be live at the Cracked Mug. That's all Monday at 1. There she goes. She's buzzing around. We're the Reed Brothers, and you're watching SA Live. All right. Don't hey, forget. If you enjoy cooking for your family and you think you've got the best carne asada, menudo in town, maybe you'd be interested in entering the two day Vaquero cook off to kick off the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo at the Texas Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Their committee is looking for people to compete and to judge the contest. The first day is Spanish rice. The next day is charro beans, menudo, and carne guisada. Register your team now at sarodeo.com slash vaquero, and good luck. Okay, I've got to brag on this one, kind of what? embarrass her a little bit. When I was down there shooting the story with the Monster Jam and some of the folks that were in town, you know, kind of helping out the media and everything, and I said, yeah, I said, you know, 
he works with Fiona. Oh, Fiona. Oh, they work with Fiona. Oh, it's Fiona. This one, it, he works with Fiona. Remember Fiona? <laughs> they were all just talking about you. Oh, so. that's so sweet. Yes. But you had fun there. Oh, I had a great time. But <laughs> yes. I, I, that's why I got to get up in the truck. He's right. like, well, he's with Fiona, so you can get up there. So <laughs> See? They like you. Pays to know me. It, it does. <laughs> right. I tell you that. So. And don't forget, Monday, get ready to buzz around because we've got a coffee-themed show. All sorts of different coffee drinks. Do you like it just, just good black? Can you see, if you see through coffee... To me, it's tea. It's got to be just like thick, you know, the kind that makes you take a sip and you kind of go, ooh, that's I'm, good coffee. And see, and I'm a huge fan <laughs> right, of, 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 instead of hot coffee, I'm a huge fan of iced coffee. That's good, I too. I really am. You know, I know a lot of people will just That's good, too. That's, but know. We'll, we'll taste it all on Monday. A whole <laughs> coffee-themed show. We're, just, we're not going to sleep for a week after that show. <laughs> Have a fantastic weekend, everybody.